Hi guys, it's me. As you can tell, I'm on the airplane because I'm going somewhere and I'm editing in the plane, so that's why uh, this looks really bad, but I realized I didn't do an intro, so here we are. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're old. Why did it just turn black? Ugh. Okay, anyways, um, this is my dr getting my driver's license vlog. Hope you all enjoy it. I got my license my very first try at Dillingham in Hawaii which is the hardest place on the island to get your license because they literally don't pass anyone so I'm just very fortunate and blessed and lucky shout out to God to my dad who was my driving instructor and my behind the wheel instructor and my examiner because everything together just really worked out for me and I am very grateful for that and blessed and hope you guys enjoy this and I just want to flex that I got it my very first time at Dillingham because like for Hawaii people you know that's like really awesome and yeah cool okay I'm not even like a amazing driver because my parents still won't let me on the road by myself so even though I have my license but uh that's another topic for another time even though I think I'm like fine for driving but uh they just don't think I'm ready yet so yeah we <laughs> we're working on that okay uh yeah okay bye Hi! So if you can tell, I'm still at home and it's like 9.13 right now and I usually am not home because I would be at school but I don't have any classes in the morning so I don't start until 12.30 because I finish all my APs so this is great and my brother thinks that I shouldn't wear this shirt because it's too bright and I look too much like a teenager or something like that but it, it's whatever, I don't really care. I really don't think the instructor is going to judge me based on the color of my shirt and if they do then that's their fault and my loss but it's okay. I don't even know if like how I'm gonna do on this driving road test because I don't really I don't know I haven't prepared a lot for it so it's fine like whatever happens happens and I mean I won't be like devastated if I don't get my license it's kind of just like a good trial run <laughs> so yeah yeah and um I actually had a freak out because I couldn't find all my documents that I needed and I like lost it, but then I found it, so good thing. My mom wasn't helping me at all. She was just laughing at me the whole time, and I was struggling, so I was like, cool. Love that for me. Okay, so my road test is at 10.20, so I'm trying to get there about an hour-ish early, so I have time to practice a little bit around the area. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I get there, maybe. What's up, guys? Do you think I'm gonna pass today? I don't know. God is well. <laughs> it is. I think it's good that I don't really like care what happens today because I see it more as just like a test trial. So if things don't go the best, it's it's okay. Yeah. Because I don't have a lot of stakes at hand, so it's whatever. You're right. Go to go more way. practice. Yeah. Yeah. I have time. That's why. Cause it's not like I have a car. And I'm traveling a lot this summer, so I don't really have time to drive. Okay, okay, let's pray. Yeah. You first, Mama. Second. You pray. Okay. Dear God, thank you. Okay. Amen. I practiced like one time around, but it was kind of bad. <laughs> but it's okay. We're just going to hope for the best. I got my ticket. Just got a text from Ethan saying that he hopes I fail, so I'm really excited for that. Surround yourself with friends who send you really good vibes all the time. Hey guys, so it was an absolute fail. I didn't even make the right appointment. I don't know, I don't understand why they have to, like I really don't get it. Um, I don't know, because it says driver's license on the thing, but apparently that's different from the road test. So I have to just wait in line. I'm just gonna come at like 6 a.m. on Thursday or something and try again. So we go pinching pattern. What a fun vlog. <laughs> we go pinching pattern. Oh, it's so we're annoying good. though, because like I just like I don't have time for this. Like, oh my god. I was literally up at 11 p.m. last night finishing my homework because I didn't want to go to class today. And if I turn it in, then I didn't have to. And yeah, my brother wants us to buy some chicken home. It's gonna be sweet garlic. Are you excited, mom? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Here's 
their chicken. So it's like garlic, fried chicken, and beef and stuff. And I've never tried this before. Apparently it is very good, so I'm excited to try it. I haven't tried a lot of things here in Hawaii that are apparently good that literally everyone else has because I just don't really get out as much and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm trying to do as much stuff as I can before I leave for college so that I can experience some more of a normal Hawaii life, I guess. Now it's time to eat some chicken. Okay, Kate, go and try again. What's going on today? Hi, everybody. <coughs> <laughs> How are you, mom? I'm good. So, what are we doing today? Exciting. So, we're on the way to the DMV. Oh, oops, there's a car. So, we're on our way to the DMV, and it's time to go. So, we have to just gonna wait in line because there's no slots available, so we have to just go and wait in line. Are you excited, mom? Yes. So yeah. it's 7.15, we're leaving the house, and we're probably going to get there around 7.30ish if we're lucky. And then, what time does the place open? 8? Eight? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, yeah. yeah. So once the place opens, then we get everyone gets like their number in line to wait, I guess. So then I'll just sit in there and wait. And twiddle our thumbs. We have happy time. Yay. Today's Together. another good day. I only have to be at school at 12 30 so it's lit so we're in line now number seven we're like number, number seven. seven in standby and the guy that's first said he got here at 5 30 a.m and i'm not really about that so i think being number seven coming at 7 30 ish 40 ish was pretty good Hopefully I'm not late to math class because like I really need it. So here's my outfit. This place makes me look really pinkish white, but that's fine. These are my like little soft maroon and navy pants or black. I don't know. I'm just wearing a black shirt. It's a tie here. Oh the lighting. It's a tie right here. And it actually has pockets, which I really like. My mom and I keep seeing this guy, and he really, really looks like an instructor, and she wanted me to go ask him a question, but he's not even an instructor. We saw him twice already, and he it's so funny. So then it started getting really windy where we were waiting, so I had my mom go to the car to get me my jacket. But as she was doing that, the, um, the examiner, or I forget what it's called, she came up and called my name and said it was time for me to go. And my mom was not here, so it was just kind of a mess. I had to scramble to put my things away because I was literally there editing while I was waiting. So I had to put everything back into my backpack and stuff. And then I was like, sorry, my mom's not even here because she went to the car to get me my jacket. And overall, I just felt like this was not a good look because she could tell that I don't really have my stuff together. So I was a little bit concerned for myself at this point. So when we got to the car, you could see my mom was like dusting everything off and stuff. And good thing my uh, instructor was very good natured and very kind. And she just like laughed it off. And she was like, mom seems more nervous than you and stuff. So this is me doing the car check with the instructor to make sure everything works. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience or whatever. So we got into the car and then you started just going on the route. I practiced the route like five times I think before I took the test so I think that was useful because you're like more familiar with like what's gonna happen and stuff and just make sure you signal earlier because I got points off for not signaling fast enough is you're supposed to signal like a hundred feet ahead and I thought it was ten feet ahead but um, it's a hundred and she was like girl but she was really nice about it and um, I still passed somehow and then also I got a lot of points off from metered parking so it was basically like an empty row, row of just 
there's no cars there so I didn't head check before pulling in because like obviously there's no cars there but like I guess like for safety precautions you should all you should always head check so just make sure you still do that and then I didn't know how to park if there's no other cars because I don't know how to like stay in the guidelines because usually I use the other cars as the guidelines so I got a lot of points docked off that because I was too far away from the box and it was just not good but Oh, actually, I was doing a left turn, and you know how you're supposed to, like, slide out into the middle of the road intersection while you're waiting for, like, all the cars going this way to pass? So this lady suddenly popped out um, while it was turning yellow, so then I just had to go at the red, and luckily my instructor was, like, chill. I didn't even get any points off because she was like, it's not your fault. But, like, still, if she wanted to be out to fail me, then she could have just put that off and failed me because I got 14 points and if you get more than 15 then you fail so I got really really lucky so going into it I was like pretty chill because I didn't really care if I got mine or if I didn't get it because I don't really need my license right now so I was just kind of went into it with like low pressure low stakes for myself so like it's whatever like you know so I feel like that did help me because I wasn't like a bundle of nerves or anything at all and I think she could tell that I was calm and I seemed like a safe and good driver so to be honest when she told me that I passed I was actually really surprised because I felt like there were just like a lot of like little things that she could have marked me on even more if she wanted to because I especially at Dillingham there's just like a lot of ways you can mess up especially with the bike lanes so uh, let's get into the vlog portion when I finish my driving and found out that I passed. Guys, I just passed. Zero, number, zero, one, three, one, at window, 14. Oh my god. My mom can't even believe that I passed. Look at that disbelief slash joy. Step back for call. Oh my god. Serving number, seven, eight, three, zero, at window, 12. So I just got my driver's license. Um, it's still the paper, but the plastic's gonna come soon, and then I don't know how I feel about my picture. It's like not bad, but it's not as good as my old one, and I just look so pale and blue tinted in it, so I'm not really about that, but you know, it's okay. I got my license, which is just a blessing and crazy in itself. Hey, you happy? Yeah. Right. Well, I thought it was a photo. Hey, are you happy? Yeah, I do this way. Oh, baby. Kid, are you happy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Got my license. <laughs> You're so excited, yeah? Yes, I am. Yeah, thank Lord. Thanks for coming with me, mommy. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank Lord. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Can we get Starbucks? Yo, what? 